Yo, Oklahoma here. One of my favorite PvP events, Korak's Revenge, has started. If you're looking for some fun, you're bored on a Friday night, I can't recommend it enough. I'll tell you right off the bat, shit's blowing up everywhere. I'm blowing up, I'm blowing shit up. It's mayhem in there, but I'm having a blast. So, if you want to come check it out, I'll show you how to get started. First thing is, when you log in, you're going to get this quest, a timely invitation. So once you get that quest, you want to come to here, in the Mage Tower in Stormwind. This is a portal to the Caverns of Time, okay? And then you just take this portal. First things first, it wasn't me. So you're going to come all the way down to the bottom of the tunnel to my girl Chromie down here. She'll have a quest for you. I have already grabbed it. One of them is for the raid boss out in Tenaris. But the other one right here, Soldier of Time, is to earn honor in Korax Revenge, the game mode, okay, that I'm talking about. Go ahead and grab that one from her, and also, once you get in the battleground, you'll get the objective quest to earn 200 Time Warp badges inside there. And if you do that, you'll also earn a Stormpike Battle Ram, which is a lot of fun. I just enjoyed the game mode. I was looking around on YouTube for some builds to try out on my beloved Red Paladin. And what did I find? Bunch of shit-talking heathens that have obviously lost faith in the light. I, I'm going to have it as my first C-tier spec, but I can see that there's a few more coming now. Another one, Red. I didn't look at the changes. I didn't look at the changes. I totally forgot they made changes. I'm just not going to rate it. Red Paladin. I mean, they're not bad. They're not bad, but they're not great either. Atho F tier. <laughs> no. So uh, when I played it, I wouldn't say I was like totally depressed, but coming from a place where I knew how it was and how it, it is right now in Dragonfly Beta, it's not a D tier in terms of fun, but definitely a C tier. Next up is going to be the B classes. First on the list is going to be the Red Paladin. Red Paladin, do not trust the hype, again. Red does seem like it does a lot of, a lot of damage, but I think uh, on live we will see very different results. Le Paladin aussi, je lui mettrai un excellent farming. Je trouve que il a, ouais, je dirais que le Paladin Vindic, il a un bon farming. Il a pas mal d'awe, pas mal de cleave. Je trouve ça assez intéressant des phases de burst. Si jamais tu peux péter plein d'awe en même temps. Next we have Red. Oh man. I think Red Paladin is doing okay. Nothing great, nothing great, but okay. Red Paladin is really hit or miss because that's okay. Retribution Paladin. This one is a, a very interesting one because I would say again, like if you're trying to really optimize this and use all your utility, well, that's a lot. There's a lot of stuff to be thinking about, and you kind of have to know like all the tank and healer stuff in the dungeon as well to be doing that. But if you want to go in and press Divine Storm, it's a fairly simple task to do that, right? So. I wanted to put together a little compilation video to both encourage the faithful and to remind these faithless heathens that if they see us glowing, they better get to going. Don't worry, fellas. I'm going to help you get them tier lists sorted out here. Fucking B tier. Let's get our protein. Mmm. Nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Real quick look at the talents. Two unique ones that I really like to run in the 40 mans. I've been having a lot of fun with this one. It basically turns your Consecrate into a 50% reduced movement speed. So like a hamstring. So much fun. Makes it a little bigger too. So it's great inside the towers or just everywhere. Just slam those Consecrates out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and on top of that, because I am throwing so many Consecrates, the Exorcism is so much fun to use. I just love the ability. I don't know how well tuned it is, but I just love having it. It feels so Paladin-esque. Here we go. Okay, so basically what's happening is there was a plan, and then that plan was kind of agreed to, but the one guy said that was a stupid plan. And some people agreed to that. And so now we're on the non-plan plan. But now the plan is for a few people to go to 
Stonehearth bunker and post up a mile defense while the offense pushes. So, I don't know what the fuck we're doing, but I'm just going to start pumping. It is I, Oklahoma, valiant defender of the Stonehearth bunker. All right, bunker secure. Oh, look who it is. Bad kitty. All right, so the bunker's secure. We're going to move forward with the rest of the team. No sense sitting back. If we're going, we're going. Thank you. Now remember, this is my healer now, right? So we want to keep them up. Oh! I got you, Zank, right there with that bop. Now, that was a little excessive, but I just wanted to show you. Don't go running in there without our healers up. Keep this DP, all this stuff off our healers, because in this one, there's a lot of PvE shit. I got you. Remember, throw them some love. I got you. SHB, they're coming, SHB. Come on, my man. Come on, my man. I got you. Look, I'm keeping my man up. See? See how much... And Look, I'm keeping him up. Now, look, I give him a freedom. Keep my man up. Okay, they're good. The bunker. The bunker. Hold the bunker, my man. Good job. That was excellent. Huh? Can we give my man Drax some loving? That was outstanding. Good job, partner. That's what I'm talking about. Someone with some objective play. I've got no way to get in there quickly until I've got freedom. So you kind of got to play back a little bit. It's okay to play back and toss out some heals and keep the healers up. There's nothing wrong with that. That's good play. So we got a big field battle going on. This is God, I love this mode. It is just so much fun. Look at all this fighting. This is great. Let's see if we can get up in this tower. All right. Let's do the tower shake up here. Got to clear this tower. For the Alliance. Good job, team. Give a little update on the situation. The Horde are pushing up. They've taken... Uh. Oh, look at this person. Get SHB back. Oh, this brother or sister I draw to my heart. At the moment, 15 plus in there. The more the merrier, I say. Oh, look, it's my boy. It's my Drek. I got you, fam. Let's go ahead and get that Crusader aura up.
Drek! Gotcha, bud. He's still fighting. Keep him up. Keep him up. Give him that freedom. Give him that freedom. Let those warriors work, baby. Keep him up. It's not just about... My damage is out, right? My wings is out. So now I just keep him up. And look, we, get, we were able to take a lot of this back. Now, granted, gear is all over the place. Some of these guys weren't as geared. So, but hey, good fight. We got some undergeared people too, so it goes both ways. Drek! I got you, fam! God. I don't know. That is just incredibly useful. Back at it again. Banners up. No problem. Whole situation. How are we doing? SHB's okay. Hoarder pushing up here. Our offense is moving down south. Seems like the split strand's working this time. Not bad. Ow. So what you'll have to do sometimes is, if you want to go help on defense, but you're kind of trapped between the Horde offense and your defense, you can use this Stormpike Insignia. It's a trinket you can get in Ultrarank Valley. You can look up how to get it, but... It'll take you right up top, and then you can kind of join the defense here. All right. They'll be coming here soon. Oh, here they come. <clears throat> here they come. Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. Let's build up that holy power. Get these chargers set so we don't have to worry about it once we get going. Slow him, slow him, and farm up some rage power. Throw a heal to my guy here. Ah, well, it was a valiant fight, but the horde persevered. Good for them. That was a nice fight. God, see how much fun this is? Oh, God, those tower fights are a blast. Okay, we got a little snooper in here, Like I think. Okay. We got us a rogue. Now, what's he going to do, right? He's going to open on us. He's going to sap us again. But pretty soon he has to open on us. Here it comes, right? So there's the blind. Now, I could bop this if I needed to, right? But I don't. Because after this, sometimes, yeah, they're that. Sometimes they're just that dumb. Right? And so now we're just going to. Right? That's what you do to them. Perfect. You see this right here? Look at that. That's clear skies. That's what we got heading into Dragonflight. Don't let all these idiots with their tear less talk you out of following the light. You believe it in your heart, and you know what's true. We are fucking awesome. And we will always be fucking awesome. And don't you ever fucking forget it. Oklahoma out.